the cost of farm-related crime on South Africa amounted to more than 2 billion rand um, directly and uh, more than 5 billion rand indirectly. What is the impact of crime on our cultural communities and how does this impact the rest of South Africa? I am Begi Mashwabo, analyst and economic researcher at the Center for Risk Analysis, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Gerwan van Heerden, to discuss more on this. Perry, what do the latest crime data trends tell us, and how does this impact rural areas in the country? The situation with regards to crime in agricultural communities uh, looks quite dire, in fact. So the South African Police Service recently released their quarterly crime statistics for the months of April to June of 2021. And during those few months, there were around 6,800 incidents of stock theft. Also, data from AgriSA has shown that the majority of commercial farms in South Africa experience crime in, in any given year, in fact. Crimes that include uh, stock theft, illegal hunting, robbery, stealing of equipment, farming infrastructure and tools. And then when we look at violent crime, the picture looks really, really bad. So uh, according to the SAP's quarterly statistics, um, between April and June, there were 181 uh, attacks, which include murder on farms or uh, uh, small holdings. And uh, when we look at long-term trends, the picture looks horrific as well. Uh, according to the Transvaal Agricultural Union, uh, between 1990 and 2020, there were more than 5,000 attacks on farms and more than 2,000 farm murders. So a uh, really, really bad situation in South Africa's rural areas and uh, farming communities. Enjoying this analysis? Click here to sign up for our 30-day free trial for more content from the CIA. Harry, I would imagine that this is not only detrimental for farmers and their workers, but also for the rest of the country. Wouldn't you say so? Oh, uh, definitely. Uh, what happens to farmers happens to the rest of South Africa. Now, uh, Status A has found that there are around 40,000 farms or farming units in the commercial agricultural sector. And just under 800,000 people are employed in the commercial agricultural industry. So um, when a farm murder occurs or a farm attack occurs, that's going to have broader social and economic implications. For example, when a, a farm, when a farmer is murdered or a farmer and his family abandons a farm due to an attack, that farm can lay unused for many years. Uh, uh, in many instances, um, a farm attack stops production up until eight years on a farm. And that really impacts food security in South Africa. Also, according to the Transvaal Agricultural Union, around 20 people are impacted by a farm attack with regards to their jobs. So far, uh, farm attacks also has a huge impact on, on job opportunities and, and job security. Another thing to take into uh, consideration is the fact that uh, it's very difficult to uh, manage a farm successfully. And uh, in order to uh, manage a farm on a sustainable basis, you have to have a lot of knowledge and skills that are usually built up over generations. So when a, farm, uh, a farmer is murdered, that also leads to a loss in terms of knowledge that was built up um, through uh, entire generations. And then um, with, regarding, with regarding the economic impact that farm attacks have on, on, um, on, on South Africa, 
uh, that's also quite huge, in fact. So Agrius A and uh, the University of South Africa found that the, the cost of farm-related crime on South Africa amounted to more than 2 billion rand um, directly and uh, more than 5 billion rand indirectly. And that means that the total economic cost of crime on farms uh, amounted to 7 billion rand being lost. So those are billions of rands being lost to the economy. And uh, this, this uh, just shows how important uh, farms and, and uh, commercial farms are for, for South Africa's uh, economic health. Gary, those figures are absolutely astounding, but it's not actually the economic costs that's also astounding, but it's also what could have been done with the funds that have been lost due to crime. That leads us to our next question then, Shari. What can be done? Is there anything substantive that can be done to prevent this in future? Um, it's important to mention that there is a trust deficit between farmers and the, the police. Uh, Agrius A has found that uh, many farmers actually don't report a crime to the police because they believe it is a waste of time. They believe the police can't help them. It can really go a long way if uh, corruption can be rooted out of our police service, if adequate training is done on a regular basis, if uh, rural patrols are done frequently. Um, and then also what will go a long way or that will be quite um, helpful in, in combating crime in rural areas is for the police to form partnerships with the local communities as well as the private sector. Um, forming those partnerships can go a long way in fighting uh, crime in rural areas. And then also all of these measures must be accompanied by socioeconomic reforms that will help rural communities to improve their living conditions. So the government really needs to try and create an environment where um, uh, job opportunities are plentiful, where people can, can start businesses. Um, otherwise, uh, we're going to continue to see high unemployment levels, a uh, high inequality rate, which is usually the main incentive or the main reason why um, crime continues to be rampant in South Africa. Indeed, Khari. And uh, if you, the viewer, enjoyed this analysis from us, the Center for Risk Analysis, please click on the link below to our 30-day free trial. Until then, take care.